today we will discuss flow property of the powder uh, this topic is very much important for our mc student uh, and especially in the computative exam or two or three mcqs already uh, present from this topic so what is flow property uh, the ability of the powder to flow is called flow property uh, why we need to find the flow property of the powder so proper flowability is uh, very much important for making tablet and capsule so it is very much important uh, to check the powder uh, flow property before going to make the tablet or capsule uh, powder having low flow property may leads to wet variation and content uniformity problem suppose we have powder and we are going to make the tablet and capsule from dead powder but the powder have low flow property so uh, after making the tablet and capsule we can pass the wet variation and continue uniformity problem so you can see in this diagram uh, this is a hopper uh, this hopper contain the powder having good flow uh, there will be good filling of the dye because the powder have good flow uh, in contrast uh, here the powder have low flow property so when the dye is filling there will be poor filling of the dye and here when the tablet form so we can pass the weight variation problems methods to find flow of the powder the first method is angle of repose. Uh, this uh, method is very much important and very easy method. Uh, first of all, uh, we wet powder. You can see here, this is the powder. Uh, and this is a funnel. And this is a plain surface. Uh, we will keep the funnel above some distance from the plain surface. And we will uh, uh, pass this powder from the funnel. So we will uh, get a heap of the powder. So we will uh find the height of the this heap and then we will find the diameter of this heap so the diameter then we will divide by 2 so we will get the radius so formula for the angle of repose is tangent theta is equal to h by r height of the heap uh, divided by radius of the heap so if you get a value of the tangent theta uh, which is less than 20 so the, there will be excellent flow of the powder and if we get uh, the uh, angle value 20 between 20 and 30 so uh, powder have good flow property uh, but if we get uh, that angle value between 30 and 40 so this powder is passable but uh, if the angle value is more than 40 so the powder have poor flow so uh, value we can decide that whether we have the powder of good flow or poor flow or excellent flow uh, next method is compressibility index so what is compressibility compressibility is the measuring of change in the volume of the powder resulting from external pressure so the change in the volume of the powder when uh, external pressure is applied this is called compressibility uh, this is the property of the powder to compress when uh, external pressure is applied so you can see this is the bulk volume of the powder without external pressure this is actually 100 ml when we apply the external pressure so the volume decrease the bulk up on the bulk volume of the powder decrease to 80 ml so this reduction this property is called compressibility of the powder so from the compress compressibility index we can uh, detect whether the powder is of pre flowing uh, property or moderate uh, flowing property or poor flow property so compressibility index we can find from this formula uh, bulk volume this is the bulk volume initial volume minus a tap volume this is the tap volume after external pressure uh, divide by bulk volume again and multiply by 100 so we will get a value if the value is less than 15 percent so the powder have pre flowing property if the uh, if the uh, value is uh, in between 15 and 25 percent so the property the flow property of the powder is moderate and if it is uh, 20 more than 25% so the powder have poor flow property